Hi, I'm Tony Christopher and this is your UFX Markets Week in Review. Today we will cover some of the major events of the past week and discuss how they impact the global currency markets. The euro decreased for a third week versus the US dollar as investors speculated that the Federal Reserve will take further steps to stimulate economic expansion. The Fed has purchased $2.3 trillion of mortgage and treasury debt from 2008 to 2011 in two rounds of quantitative easing aimed at capping borrowing costs. Growth in U.S. gross domestic product slowed to 1.4% from April through June, compared with 1.9% in the first quarter and 3% in the last three months of 2011. Last week, European finance ministers approved 100 billion euros in aid for Spanish banks. However, this failed to keep yields on Spain's 10-year government debt from rising above 7%. The euro was last trading at the level of 1.2155, which is a decrease of minus 1.01%. The Canadian dollar increased against the US dollar for a second week on speculation that global central banks will take further steps to sustain economic growth increasing demand for riskier assets. A report coming out of Canada stated that Canada's consumer price index climbed 1.5% in June from a year ago. The Canadian dollar was trading at the level of 1.0125 last Friday, which is an increase of 0.53%. The Japanese yen rose versus the US dollar as the extra yield that investors received for investing in, two, in US two-year debt versus comparable Japanese government bonds declined limiting the appeal of dollar-dominated assets. The Japanese yen was last trading at the level of 78.46, which is a decrease of minus 0.13%. The British pound declined against the US dollar, as figures coming out last week indicated that the government of the UK borrowed more than expected in June, as economic recession raises doubts as to whether the government will meet its deficit reduction targets. The British pound was last trading at the level of 1.5618, which is a decrease of minus 0.66%. In commodities, oil declined for the first time in eight days as concern that governments in Europe are not doing enough to contain the worsening debt crisis, raising speculation that fuel demand will fall. Prices declined from a two-month high as Spain's borrowing costs rose to record levels after Eurozone finance ministers approved a bank bailout for the country. Crude oil was last seen trading at the level of $91.83 a barrel, which is a decrease of minus 1.23%. Well, that is all the time we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this week's review and you'll join us next week. Until then, be sure to visit us at ufxmarkets.com for all your online trading needs. For UFX Markets, I'm Tony Christopher. Good luck and happy trading.